guys, believe it or not, it's November. Yay. I can't believe it. Me neither, I know. I what? cannot believe it. I just said this in my style maker or my um, stash builder box video. Like, where's the time going? It's like once summer's done, August, September, then it just like flies. Yeah, by. it's flying for yeah. sure. But it's November the 1st, so that means we are here to talk about our November makes. Mm -hmm. um, historically, we have discussed how we did on our October makes. It seemed to me that you did really well. Well, I'm having a hard time remembering everything I said I would do, but I know this was one, and this was a huge project, mm -hmm. so I made it. The hurricane kind of messed with my yeah. sewing. <laughs> yeah, for so, like five days, basically, the whole city was completely shut down. Mm -hmm. I um, left. Abby went out of town. <laughs> I didn't have electricity for about a day, 12 hours, which honestly, I was lucky. There were a lot of people yeah. who had it a lot worse than yeah. me. But it was just like a really down time, and I wasn't motivated to sew, even though I didn't go to work. I didn't have anything going on. I couldn't go anywhere. Nowhere was open to go. I don't know. Just feeling what like happened? down in the dumps with Aww. with the hurricane. Sorry. It was kind of scary, stressful yeah, too. So there stressful. was all of that. So I didn't sew at all during that time. Oh, I did fun. cut out a pattern. I didn't something. sew it. <laughs> something. <laughs> I did some hand sewing when the power was out. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that on Instagram. Yeah. That's an accomplishment. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so it kind of interfered with my, with my making of things, but I'm pretty sure I still did two out of three, which is kind of yeah. what goes for me. Yeah, that's so. your average. Yeah, I ended up cutting out two patterns and not sewing either one. <laughs> so you're but, uh, zero for three? I'm zero for three again. You're that's zero. two months in a row. Uh -oh. This is going to be the month. Yeah, this is, this is going to be for sure. <laughs> I'm feeling good about these as I am every time. It's just, I'm so bad at committing to something, and then oh, I yeah. feel like doing something else, and... So then I just do something else. Okay. Um, okay. So for this month, I do have some really fun projects planned. The first one is a little bit elaborate. Um, I actually started planning for this project um, in October and ordered all the supplies that I needed to make like a legit trench coat. So I want to make version C that has the belt. It's double breasted. It has the little cuff bands, um, welt pockets. So I um, got all of the interfacing, I got all of the notions, I got a whole new um, um, like a Taylor's clapper thing, but it's like more than just the clapper, it's got like angles to it, I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, I got all this kind of stuff that I would need to make a very well tailored jacket. I got the, um, what are they called, shoulder pads, mm -hmm. all the stuff, so I have it all yeah. here. So um, I want to, you know, do the, um, I want a tissue fit, and then I want to make a muslin, and then I want to sew it. So this might not be a project that's ready to go necessarily <laughs> in this month, but I do want to get started on it and like every week kind of chip away at it. Yeah. Um, and the fabric that I have for it is the same fabric that I used to make my Kelly Anorak jacket when I tested for closet case patterns. And um, it's a really fine twill in this like really pretty, I mean, pretty traditional trench mm -hmm. color. I mean, nothing spectacular, but I did think it was a nice tone that would be good for spring and fall because mm -hmm. it does have a little bit of depth to it. Yeah. Did you see I bought some of that too? No, I you didn't. You didn't watch my story. I bought some to make. Those things go away. Oh, After... <laughs> After, know, 20, that, after 24 hours, they disappear. So, so if I miss it. I know all that work wasted. Wow. That's why huh, I'm kind of like rethink that. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm like, oh, I don't really know about the stories. Oh yeah, that's a bummer. I wanted everybody to see all the good fabric I got. I mean, people that pay attention to that probably. I mean, I won't always look at something in that time frame. I know. So but that's why well, I missed it. So I bought some um, to okay, make cool. a clear coat, which I don't know if you guys can see her clear coat back there. Yes, love it. That was I'm gonna, gonna make one of that. So cute. That'll yeah. be a lot of fun. No, no You'll way. have to use some of my jacket techniques, my jacket tailoring techniques yeah. for the collar and all that. Because I look at that one and I'm like, yeah, I probably could have done a better job. Pressing and the little corner over there is not yeah. perfect. Well, I learned some awesome techniques for this little corner yes, in my Tilly that video. One is, it's pretty perfect. Yes. So, yeah, so this is something, I, like I said, I'm going to start on and kind of chip away at as we go. Um, I would just be happy to get the fabric cut out this month. Because there are, I mean, a that gazillion really pieces. A gazillion. When I was cutting out the pattern pieces when the power was out, I was like, this is never going to end. I mean, 
almost there's 25 in total so um yeah there's yeah, a that lot might be all you do this month yeah <laughs> i mean look at that list yeah that's huge it's going to be beautiful though. yeah it's going to be really awesome it'll be one of those fun things to kind of just keep picking back up here and there yeah Great. what's your first one okay so my first thing is leopard print leopard print is just like everywhere this season mm -hmm. i've always been a big fan of it um but i've never made anything with leopard print mm -hmm. and actually i only have a pair of shoes that are leopard print <laughs> but i want some more so i got this um ponty knit i believe it is from style maker fabrics it's from their fall winter release and I'm not sure if I want the Elmira cardigan um, off of Seamwork, which is basically a copy of Allie J. Do you follow, follow mm -hmm. Allie J? She made one. She used the different tone of this in mm -hmm. hers, so at least it'll be a little different coloring. Um, but I just loved how hers turned out with that big tie mm -hmm. on the side, or I thought just a basic traditional cardigan, or a cropped kind of like sweatshirt, but like a dressed up kind of mm -hmm. sweatshirt. So those are my three options. If you did the Not cardigan, sure. do you have like a little black dress or how would you, you know, um, black skirt and black tank top? I haven't really thought that far through. That might help you make your decision probably. She, how did she style it? She looked so cute um, with hers. I have to go back and look how she styled it. So <laughs> basically just, just copy, copy her. her. <laughs> hey, imitation right. is the best form of flattery. Yes. <laughs> and she's basically a southerner since she's in yeah, North Carolina. She's in North Carolina so, so I think that's so. why we love her stuff so probably much. Too. Yeah. So it might be that. I'm not sure though. What do you think? I mean, sweatshirt? her cardigan, her cardigan was really cute, but you make sweatshirts like they're going out of style. I so I could see you doing that too and wearing it. I think that would be more versatile because you could wear it with your black ponty pants. Mm -hmm. so you wear it with a black pencil skirt. Yeah, you could wear it over a dress, um, especially if it were cropped. Mm -hmm. um, so I just think it's more versatile. Yeah. Plus the jeans and the usual. Right. Right. So. You're right. That would be more practical, but I'm not 100% sold yet. <laughs> cool. Good. So, well, so my next one is um, a new McCall's pattern, um, M7468. It has the cold shoulder detail, kind of like a flared sleeve, which, I mean, ever since that dove top came out, all I see are I know. those flared sleeves I know, absolutely too. everywhere. And yeah. I, I feel like I've never seen them before that. Um, so it has a flared sleeve, um, an elastic back the back is elastic and the front is just a waistband and it can be a peplum or a dress and i really like how she has it styled with the tights and the booties so i <laughs> went to fabric.com and was looking at their is it tel telio telio i don't know how to pronounce it whatever it i is. think in my mind i say telio okay um looking know. at their <laughs> telio stuff and i found do you remember i was texting you about it yes um i found like I don't know, probably five of them. One of them was this really amazing border print, but it was three times as expensive as everything else. And you know, it's a new pattern. I never made it before. And so I thought, okay, let's be practical about this. Get one of the cheaper ones, make it a wearable muslin, mm -hmm. and then go back and get that fabric if it really worked out. So I ended up with this black and white dot, um, kind of like a small scale dot. I thought it would be kind of like a good all over print mm -hmm. for something that has you know, because it has like all these um, neck bands, yeah, arm right. bands, waistband, so it is broken up a lot. So yeah. I didn't want to do a pattern that was too, certainly not a stripe um, or too geometric because mm -hmm. then um, it just get broken up anyway. So what's the point? So yeah, I went with this. It was like six bucks a yard or something. Nice. Um, I think fabric can be really affordable. Yeah, yeah. I um, actually went to cut it out today to get started on it early and I was looking at it and I was like, shoot, I didn't pre-wash this. So I went, put it in the wash, <laughs> took it out of the wash and as soon as I did that, I was like, I'm having deja vu. I've totally pre-washed this, but the, uh, but the cut ends just don't, don't ravel or fray and I had totally forgotten. And whenever I remember, when I laid it out flat to dry, I don't always do that with mm -hmm. everything because they don't require that. I'm like, yep. I've totally done this. So you I know what double I pre -wash. do to help myself remember, but I'm, so what I do right now is I um, roll it up because most of my fabric's rolled and I stick a pin mm -hmm. in the little, mm -hmm. so I can see that I've done it, but we ordered that um, 
sewing planner, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping I can just drop down yep. in there that it's been pre-washed, and that's how I always know, because I do the same thing. I'm like, ooh, have I done it? I don't know, and then I end up doing it again, probably. Yeah, and you know, we printed out those Megan Nielsen fabric cards. That's oh, another yeah, really I great way to notate. Those might be in my suitcase from New York. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, there's all kinds of great ways to not do what I did today, but it got a double pre-wash, so it'd be pretty pre-shrunk. It will never shrink now. Hopefully not. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's my second plan. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to be making Chai Town Chino Skirt. Um, I actually am making one right now but it's October, so I couldn't count that for November. So um, this is the one I plan to make in November, but the one I'm making now is out of some army green twill. And I was looking on J. Crew, and they had a camel color corduroy mm -hmm. skirt, skirt that I wanted so bad. It was like $75 or something. I'm like, I can make this myself. So I ordered this from Indie Sew with their new, um, their fall fabric, fall and winter fabric release. Um, it's got a little bit of stretch to it, and I just really, really love the color. It feels nice. It does feel nice. Yeah. Make sure to pay attention to that neck when yes. you cut it out. Oh, speaking of that, Alina posted a blog post. Did you see that post About she did? About corduroy, yeah. How um, she gave like seven tips for sewing with corduroy. So I read that, and I'm going to reread it again before I yeah. actually do anything. No, definitely. But um, wouldn't that look good with the leopard, too? Oh, yeah, so cute. Yeah. See, that's another vote for cropped sweatshirt okay. sweatshirt yeah um anyways so what was i gonna say i had something in my mind but it fell out um oh they i read somewhere where depending on which way you have the nap i don't know if this is in her article or not i don't know is slimming and the other way is not slimming I've never or seen something that i gotta remember where i found that like way in your way in brushing it yeah, in the way that either if it brushes smoothly down is more slimming than if it brushes rough down. Because it will make light or shadow. So, I wasn't prepared to like, <laughs> have this lesson up. on this. Yeah, exactly. We'll but do I a do little remember, research for Yeah, I'll then. see if I can try and find it. And we'll put Alina's link in the description box below. Yeah. And if I can find wherever this random thing I stumbled upon. Um, we'll put that in the description box below too. But yeah, that looks really fun. Yeah. Cool. So what, how far along are you on the... Um, I cut them out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll cut out. I'm actually, that's what I'm going to be sewing up um, this weekend. Okay, so. cool. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Um, my next one is the, is a simplicity pattern. This is actually a craftsy kit. Um, craftsy had a sale recently and a bunch of their kits were marked down like 60 70% off something like that so I got a really good deal on this one and I just loved the fabric so much yeah. it has a black background with these pretty pink and blue and maroon flowers and green stems so I kind of thought it would be one of those like seven months out of the year type of garments that mm -hmm. you could wear a bunch especially like you know in the fall you just wear like naked legged and booties but in the winter you can put tights on you can put like a leather jacket over top or a jean jacket in spring mm -hmm. so yeah i just thought that it would the fabric would be well suited to wear a bunch and then the pattern itself has this really cute um flutter sleeve detail and y'all know how much i love a flounce so it has um, a flounce that goes along the princess seams and then just like a um it looks like a tied maybe elastic small teeny tiny elastic waistband um and with a tie and that's really it you. Um, so actually there's not a, it's not an elastic waistband. You just tie that thing around, but I'll probably add an elastic yeah. because I don't like the slipping, bunchy. yeah, slipping around everywhere. And so, yeah, yeah, so I'll add one. So yeah, Craftsy, whenever they do it up, they do a really good job. Yeah, I always it. look, but then it always throws me off because sometimes it's like you can only get a certain yardage. So it's like only the three yard is left. I'm like, I don't want three yards of that. Yeah. Well, that's so not how the little, kits work. The kits yeah, the kits are, are yeah, they send you exactly what exactly you what you need yeah cool so yeah awesome so my last thing is back to the chai town <laughs> oh. she knows um they have she put out the extent extension packet for mm -hmm. the pants mm -hmm. um so i got that from indie so um and it's just an add-on to the um the shorts and another corduroy <laughs> mm -hmm. so this is a really cool rust color this is really pretty rusty got some orange mm -hmm. undertones like just 
perfect for fall, yep. winter. Um, I thought it looked really cute with like a chambray shirt. Chambray these days is like a neutral. It is. Chambray is just like black yeah. and white. It goes yeah. with literally everything. So this fabric is from Style Maker Fabrics. She has a bunch of different colors of this. Mm -hmm. um, this one was my favorite, but. Oh, I actually, oh, they kind of feel the same. They feel very similar. Yeah. Real low whale, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. Yep. Whale, so. Yeah, well that's just more modern. Like if you had like a really high whale, that would look like 70s. Yes. 80s. Yes. <laughs> yes. But yes. yeah, that color is really cool. They would look really cute. Aren't you planning a like white, almost gauzy dove top? Yes. Yeah, that would be really yes, with that it would too. be. It would be really nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I need to, there's so many things I want to make. <laughs> we just need more time. But we're going to have the holidays coming up in November. We'll have Thanksgiving break. Yeah. So if you don't spend a whole lot of time driving back to West Virginia. I'm not going to, I'm not planning on going back um, for Thanksgiving. It's just Spoiler Thanksgiving. alert, mom and dad. No, my mom already <laughs> has me. It's just, it, I don't know. It's hard because of traffic. At that time, it's like, it's just miserable yeah. driving. I have to leave early to come back. And yeah. I don't know. So yeah, we'll get a lot done with it with the holiday yeah. coming up then yeah. for Hopefully. sure. Hopefully. Well, that's it. That's it. That's all I have. Yes. So I'm super excited to get working on these. I don't know if I'll get all three of them done, but I hope with your help, especially Lindsay's going to help me fitting my chinos, I hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I know. Well, that's all we have for our November makes. Hopefully we get all three done like we said we would. I'm going to be a good girl. We'll report back in December. Oh my, oh my gosh, that feels so weird to say December. Wow. wow. Wait uh, till we're like our 2017 makes video. Yeah, oh. that would be crazy. Anyway, so we'll let you know in December how we did. Of course, we'll post what we do get to on our Instagram. So mm -hmm. until next time, guys, see you later. Bye.